All right, let's open this up. So we've got it loaded into Studio One. It's a VSD2 in this instance. And I wanted to just get a new preset going here. You can import, export, and browse presets. Let's just walk through overall uh, just some basic things very quickly because there is so much in this instrument. I'm going to load R by clicking the load button. You'll see five little dots appear. That means five tracks are filled with instruments. These are the five tracks, and they're lined up like this. One, two, three, four, five. These blue keys correspond to these keys down here. So, uh, and they go from bottom to top, which means... So this is a G. This is an A flat G sharp. And notice the sequence is continuing if I kind of legato the notes. B flat, frame drums, and up to the small metals up here. Volumes are here. They're all going into effects. You've got in the sequencer, you've got different outputs. So you can separate each of these outputs into different things. If you turn effects off, it changes to the no effects out. Uh, these shaping tools here, there's three uh, shaping tools. These are EQs. This is exactly what it says it is. Change the pitch. Very smooth engine. Um, then to remove it, you have to right click it and remove it. You can control these all with automations, of course. Uh, 3D, I think. That's kind of a stereo effect. This is basically none, more, most. Uh, there is, sorry, we're left click. Uh, these are kind of EQE, resonant EQ types of things, I'm guessing. That's called boom. This one is mud. Oops. Which sort of emphasizes everything except the mud, I'm guessing based on the impact of this sound. I'm getting lost in this one little section already. Crunch, air, high pass, low pass. Um, so uh, you have three of those for each. And then uh, you can lock the sounds or lock the patterns that are given to you. You can... Uh, choose the velocities and within each velocity that I believe there is round robins underneath these change the amount of dynamics between the velocities so lots of change no change so different uh, yeah there are round robins within the velocities as well so Change the velocity, X out the pattern, make the pattern go away, drag the pattern, uh, well, let's see, let's put the pattern back on there, drag the pattern to a different part, wait, there, um, now I've dragged it to this channel, and then I could lock the pattern and bring in a different kit, let's load battalion, the pattern was locked here, but the new part got uh, brought in, and that is going to be a holding down F sharp here. We'll get to the samples and everything, so you've got pan controls. Now this is interesting, this only has one velocity layer for this particular frame drum. Just a very nice sample, round robins. Then when you click on the left side here, you'll get some envelope controls. Tech ADSR, every time you touch one of these buttons, the controls change, all super responsive. The, in terms of the visuals updating as soon as you make a change, it's really easy to see. 
You get a nice histogram, visualization of the frequencies, and then you can choose different kinds of dynamics. Also, you can, when, you, when I click here, I'm just going to drag in an EQ bell. So you can drag in EQ bells. And this is noting that it's just for the track uh, that I'm looking at, frame drums. If you, and you can turn the cue on and off here. I can click the all button and change the EQ for the entire patch. Uh, you can choose all the EQ types. I mean, every little section of this gets deeper and deeper the more you go. There's a back button, basically shows whatever I used to be looking at. So I could be looking at any of these other pages, and the back button will take me to whatever I used to be looking at, which is actually really helpful. Smacky solo conga. Double click it. And now, this is a pattern that's been written. The velocities, I think, are more important than which note vertically you're seeing. The velocities are really what determines what loudness and what kind of timbre you're going to hear. You can record new patterns here, like this. Um, I'll do it. Click, click. Can't quite hear the click. And so those are the things that I hit. Obviously, I was hitting it at 127 most of the time. You've got different variations that you can uh, add in here. There are numbers of bars um, that you can choose. You can choose time signatures. You can change the length of loops. You can, of course, edit notes, um, like make them longer, move them up or down, change their velocity. You can export all of this as a MIDI file. You can <laughs> import MIDI files. You can reset everything to the way it was when this kit got loaded, or you can start fresh. Uh, <laughs> you can, um, if you have a bunch of things like, uh, let's, let me record this again. So here I, I specifically, didn't hold down the keys, you can have the uh, fill the gaps. Uh, let me select them and fill the gaps. So you've got a fill the gaps feature, you've got a duplicate feature, you've got double the time, half the time. <laughs> I mean, everything that's selected, you can select things up here so that they're easy to select. Uh, you can right click and uh, go up and down. Um, so I'm right clicking to get these things. If I ha left click, it's what I've selected. And if I select nothing, they all, wait. If I select nothing, how do I select nothing again? There was a time when I was getting all of them and I was getting the whole thing to move up and down. Um, you can view or not view the grid. You can humanize, you can quantize. You can change the quantized duration. You can randomize things to certain degrees, like randomize the volume, randomize the pan, uh, whatever S1, 2, and 3 are. You can randomize envelope parameters. This just shows a wave of the MIDI samples that are being triggered. All of these are individual MIDI samples. So these toggle notes on and off, velocity on and off. You have a one knob control over all the dynamics, which means when you're showing the velocities, if the velocities uh, change like this, you can use this dynamics knob to make your pattern sound louder or softer. Here's again the volume of the channel, uh, whether the channel is on or off, whether the channel is panned left or right. That's all this page. You have two mixes. You can go from A mix, this A mix, this whole pattern and all of these variations to a B mix, which is going to be, uh, you know, the same, all of the same stuff twice. And you can edit each of them. <laughs> and beyond that, you can then go over to all of your controls. So everywhere you've got a control, you can set a control. So if I add connection one 
and I want a linear connection from zero to everything, then I can go over to my controls over here, and that control one now can control any of these things, like a sequencer, a step sequencer, an envelope or two, uh, MIDI CCs, I can smooth things. Um, I haven't explored this too much yet. So you get all these different controls to do that with, and then you've got your effects tab. Now each of these gives you space filter, augment, spatial, or shape. So all of these are categories of effects, transient, crunch, crusher, fuzz, heat. So this is kind of a wave shape and sometimes a wave over time. So heat and fuzz are probably saturation, crusher, mid compressor. Uh, space includes delay, distance, so sort of reverbs, delays. Filters and EQs like a telephone EQ, air, mud, wah, whip. Uh, augment, uh, you can make it kind of go through a vinyl sound or a resonator. Uh, repeaters, <laughs> I haven't tried ants yet. Rose at Rover, Sprazzi, Tablizer. <laughs> There's a middle knob which does one thing and then an outside knob which does another thing. And it looks like it's applying to all of these things. And then you can put all of these into something very simple, like a filter that you can turn up and down. <laughs> so there's a store tab. Now I mentioned earlier that I've only got the core kits loaded, but you don't need to go too far to find what is available in the other kits because when you click these other previews it'll tell you uh, punch ambience loudness organic syncopation the time signature of this demo the tempo that this demo is recorded the instrument types that it includes this is a sub um, these look like big drums i think these are like um ticky little high frequency things a wood block kind of sounding thing and you can scroll through all of these and just get a sense of whether or not these other pieces might be of these other kits might be of interest to you. So um, hybrid pulse, by the way, is all percussion. It's not a bunch of um, bass pulses. It's uh, hybrid action types of things. Uh, you can hear. You know that it's it's not tonal it's it's still percussion producer essentials includes things that uh, would be suitable for pop rock um, here's a disco one uh, clappity clap kind of sounded poppy to me rock kit Stop, stop. A Titan kit. Then there's the, uh, and, and you get other other time signatures in the traditional, which, which means it's sort of their take on a, uh, it, it basically goes through different regions. You've got deserts. You've got, um, again, in 6-8, you've got uh, different types of regional drums. There was a something that sounded very there's some Jun. There's some Bombo. So and then these three dots here will take you back to uh, there's an undo button, a redo button, a documentation button, and then your setup I'm going to load it here. In the standalone version here, it lets you um, pick your MIDI items from your MIDI setup. But you remember, uh, you have to, I want to let you know you have to scroll through here because it's not clear that there's more things in this, in this list. So <laughs> that is a really quick run through of the majority of the features.
What we haven't covered is the uh, quality of the sounds. And I'll have to cover that in another video. I need to take a little break. 